Hey guys, Leo here and this video will be looking at different sort of web server type of attacks uh, footprinting as well as the main thing will be focusing upon using Metasploit uh, when I look at Metasploit, Metasploit is a software or I can say it's a framework where I can use the software for performing different sort of penetration type of testing on maybe a mobile device or maybe on a desktop or machine so the Metasploit framework has different sort of code, it has different sort of tools which I can use. It has different, it, if you see over, it has a lot of exploits. Exploits are the code that which will help me to break into a machine. Uh, payload are the code which will run on the uh, victim machine. Auxiliary, I can, I, using Metasploit, I can also perform maybe like a port scan. I can check whether an exploit will be working on a machine or not. For this session, I'll be using two machines. The attacker machine which I'm currently on, as well as the victim machine. Uh, we'll be using a very old exploit which is using the, uh, it is a remote code execution of Java 7. So for this practical, one thing important is the victim machine should have a Java version which is less than um, GRE 7 update 6. So this practice can be done in two ways. It can be done using the console or if I, I can even access it to the web based UI. The console becomes much more easy and faster to perform this practical. If you're opening, if you're using the web based UI, you need to log in and it takes time for it to load over there. Uh, there are basically multiple steps that you need to perform. First thing first, you need to uh, select the exploit which you want to use. After you select the exploit, you need to specify the different options of the exploit. Maybe the remote machine's IP address or maybe the local machine's port number which you want to use. Uh, if need be, you can also specify the payload. Now, payload, as I said, is the code which will run on the remote machine. Like, for example, after I have uh, exploited my machine, the victim machine, I may want a backdoor to be established that will connect that machine back to my machine. I can include that in my payload, maybe by doing a reverse TCP. Uh, after I set the uh, option, then after I set the payload, I need to execute the exploit after execution of the exploit my session will be established and you then interact with that machine using my session info so first thing first when i'm in the metasploit pro console after it fully loads it'll give me the F msf prompt the msf prompt i can if i want information of help i can just type the help command and i can see different sort of command which i can run over there for example uh, when i'm talking about the exploit the exploit which I'm using is the GRE 7 update 6 exploit. If I go to different sites like the CV details site, I can find out what is the CV number for the exploit. If I want to search for particular exploits, I can maybe give the search and let's say I'll, if I give GRE 7, what will come? Search Java 7, Java 1 7. As you search, I'll give the CV name to four six eight one. All right, I know this exploit is having this specific part. Uh, exploit auxiliaries payloads are all directory based, means you have a subdirectory type of structure for it. Now I know that this exploit was found on twenty sixth of August two thousand twelve. I know that it is ranked. That is excellent. Mean this is a very uh, popular and very. It gives me a much better uh, it's helping me to break into a system with a very high success rate uh, I can see the description of the Java 7 applet remote code execution now I need to use these exploits as I say use exploit multi what is the same part I'll type the same part down below Java GRE 17 exec all right after it is successful, it will enter the MSF exploit prompt where it is working under java underscore jerry 7 underscore x exit which is the exploit which I am working with. If I want to view the options, I type show options. Alright, I know that in the show options, it is having different variables. The first column is the variables, 
the second column is the current value set to the variables and the third column specify whether that variable is necessary or not if i see srv host is showing me as 0 .0 000, 000, meaning when i run this exploit it is actually um if i see URI part uh, this this exploit will actually create a web server which will be mapped to this because it is 0, 000, 000 this web server will be running on all of my interfaces of my attacking machine SRV port also specify that this web server will be running on port number 8018 I can specify I need to specify I can specify the URI part URI part is like for example a slash subdirectory over there so like for example if I'm trying to hack into maybe my siblings computer I could tell them that hey dude this is the link this is my personal web server on my network I'm hosting free games in this free game folder over there I can just give him this link over there so let's say I'm just setting the options let's say I'll set the I'll change the SR report to something else 8084 okay SR report has been changed to 8084 I'll set the URI part to maybe free games okay uh, exploit target the payload is going to be a generic payload over there if this payload does not work then I can try with different different sort of payloads over there so let me do a show options again I can see that my SRE port has been changed to 8084 uh, my URI part has been changed to free games if you have an SSL certificate you can also map the SSL certificate over here and then your the website which the web server which will be created will be having a HTTPS type of setting for it uh, let's say I need to exploit it I want to create it so that it runs as a job if I see exploit dash h all right when I want to exploit minus h uh, switch I can give even help for the exploit command over there uh, so let's say I want to run this in the context of a job I will type exploit and I'll type minus j all right the moment I do exploit minus j I can see that it started a server that is at http colon ip address colon port number slash the URI part this address URL has to be visited by the victim machine so I'll move to a victim machine uh, what it was 24 slash free games suppose this is the link which you are given to your sibling sibling has typed the link in his browser and he has hit enter over there HTTP uh, alright now when you hit enter when you type the link over there if I go back to the system I can see in the console it is showing me that Java say on applet remote code execution handling request has been received from IP address dot 26 it has sent an applet or jar file to that victim and it has also sent some sort of staging data to the victim over there last I can see that a session has been opened a session is currently being maintained between dot 24 and dot 26 if I hit enter uh, if I want to see the sessions I can type sessions command and it will show me what are the different sessions which are ex running on my current machine so if I type jobs jobs will show me the current different sort of jobs which are running on this attacking machine I know that this session is having a session ID of 1 and I know it is connected to EH2 is the uh, username of the victim's machine I want to connect to the session so I'll give the sessions keyboard a specify minus 1 minus I and I'll specify the ID of the session that is 1 the moment I specify sessions minus i and 1 the moment I specify sessions minus i and 1 I am now thrown into the metaprinter prompt over here metaprinter is the uh, I can interact directly with the system like for example if I give the help command I can let's say I can do this I can find the sysinfo that I know that this computer name is EH2 it is having Windows XP and I'm using the Java type of exploit um, let's say I can do IP config so I can see that on this machine um, 
it is having an AMD type of Ethernet adapter I can see what is the IP address of that machine over there if if that person had some sort of webcam connected I could even record the webcam I could uh, live stream the webcam so basically I am getting into your house I am able to see whatever is front of the webcam provided the webcam is on that machine over there I can even record the uh, data which is being captured by the microphone uh, if I do maybe a PS command I can see different sort of running processes I can see different running processes with the different sort of process ID and the names over there I can even maybe I can even upload uh, content to this victim machine I can download content from the victim machine I can even edit files or I can view the content of files for example if I give a keyboard of screenshot I'm able to take a screenshot of machine and TSEHV if I go to Metasploit folder I will be able to see a screenshot that this is the victim machine over there one thing to notice Metasploit is not just a windows based program it is more commonly in use if you are having Kali Linux Metaprinter comes inside of Kali Linux or it comes inside of Backtrack which is the older version of Kali Linux so Metaprinter can work in Linux, Unix and it's also working in Windows over there after I've connected to my session let's say I want to quit the session so I'll just type the keyword of quit over there and I can see that Metaprinter session 1 has closed user has exited the MSF exploit if I type jobs I can see currently the jobs is still running let's say I will type jobs in minus k to end the current executing jobs over there so I know that currently there is no sort of jobs running over there uh, so if you could see if you go to recollect we had uh, selected the exploit we had selected java gre 7 1.7 uh, exploit we had set the options for it we had um, made the victim machine connect to that uh, link after the moment he connected to that link the attacking machine uploaded the uh, exploitable type of jar file which ran on the browser after it ran on the browser it created a session from the attacker machine to the victim machine and then using different session type of oriented commands I could maybe take a screenshot of the machine I can upload data I can download data there is no end to what you can do after you have done whatever work you want to do with a victim machine you can actually clear your tracks by running different sort of uh, clearing track type of commands over there Anytime you want to move back, you can always type the back command to move back over there. Finally, if you want to quit the entire console, you can just type the quit or the exit type of command. In this next part of this practical, we'll be looking at doing web server footprinting using two tools that is, we'll be using ID serve and HTTP recon. Uh, for this part it is required to have a web server running i am having a local web server that is being running in my exam software first thing we will be looking at is the http recon software when i run the http recon software it asks me to specify target and it is specify the port number of it if for example if i found out that this there is a port number 80 or 8080 that is uh, running on a specific machine after I've done an nmap scan, I can find out more information using my HTTP recon tool over there. Um, the web server is running on port 192.168.0.24, and this is the port number 80. After I hit the URL and I select the appropriate port number, I can even select HTTP as well. After I specify the URL and the appropriate port number, I click on analyze. It will start 
it'll connect to your machine and start fingerprinting your machine over there uh, and if I see over here in the get existing it tells me that uh, it gives me information about it for example I can see that it is running Apache 2.4.9 it is running on Windows I also know it is running using OpenSSL at 0.9 and it is using PHP 5.4.27 if I look down over here in the match list, I can see maybe what a different sort of ratio the match has been done. Like for example, there are on a hundred percent match for two point two point three. Uh, this was an old version of eighty three console two point two point three was the highest it could detect that time. If I alternate between the different tabs, I can see what is the long request that is going to be looking like. If there is a non-existing or a not found what will be the response type that is HTTP 1.1404 wrong protocol what is the existing head what are different options type of thing for it if I go to configuration I can edit different settings for it I can specify a timeout I can specify the test that need to be test that will be done when the analyze button is hit I can look at different resources as well if I go into reporting I can generate a specific report and let's say I'll generate the report in the form of an HTML file when I click on save it'll ask me where do I want to save the report so when, I, when the report gets saved and it opens I can see the entire summary of it I can see what is the existing what is the different sort of response headers sent by the server so I've been able to find out that the machine, the server machine is running Apache, it is running Windows 32 bit and it is also running OpenSSL with PHP 5.4.27. When I use ID serve, ID serve is going to be performing the same thing. When I open ID serve, uh, background I will give you basic background information about ID serve and i need to paste or copy the url which is copy 192.168.0.24 the moment i hit on the query the server button it start querying the server i know that the query location is uh, 024 slash exam this is the page that was loading over there i know that it is having a content of html if i scroll a bit up i can see that it is using php 5.4.27 it is using apache 2.4.9 it is using open ssl 0.9.8 and it is using php 5.4.27 i can see what is the date because of denied access to the uh, web server from being accessed over the network hence it gave me a 302 type of message over there i can see the domain name the machine's ip address is dot i can see what is the Domain name is EH virtual for that machine over there. That is, this is the machine name. It is connecting on port number 80 over there. And down I can see it is giving me the entire extractor line of that is using Apache 32 bit, OpenSSL, and PHP 